Alright everyone, welcome back to the Rakoska Open, round of 64. We've got a Terran versus Terran action here for you. We've got Ram Lead spawning as the blue Terran in the eastern position. And we have Dull Train spawning as the yellow Terran in the northern position here on Metalopolis. We've got ourselves a close versus air TVT battle. Could we be seeing Banshees? I don't know. Could we be seeing Drops? I don't know. We've got some Starcraft, Starcast witty banter going on here, and we've got some scout action going on. Dull Train choosing to scout in close by air positions first, well as Ram Lead choosing to spawn as close by ground first. And there we are into the base and spots his opponent. Lucky him, getting some good scouting information done. We've got Barracks reactor going up as our barracks and our fighter going up for both players looks like they are mirroring their builds almost identically and let's see how long they continue to be mirrored for we do have oh yeah it looks like they're still mirrored quite a bit looks like ram lead is just a little bit behind but not by much not noticeably anyway Delatrain train choosing to throw down a bunker just to get some added protection here against any kind of shenanigans or tomfoolery and we do have more marines being produced out as well as ram lead getting a ghost academy Ooh, ghost academy S sneaky sneaky um with the old this is played on the previous version so unfortunately ghosts are not nearly as cool as they are now but they're still pretty awesome especially in tvt you just walk up snipe 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 a few of these marines as uh, without the upgraded combat shield the marines die in one snipe and then you laugh. A sweet little laugh. And laugh some more. As you kill everything. Uh, one thing you can do with your ghost, though, is start the Mobius Reactor. Since he does not have a barracks with the tech lab up, he might as well get... Oh, he's going for Cloak right away. Cloak, ladies and gentlemen, he is going dangerous. So we've got two racks Ghost Academy here for the Ram Lead. And we've got 111 coming up for Del Train. Uh, but he's getting that engineering bay up, which means he is going to be able to keep an eye on this. You know, especially with that engineering bay up there, it looks like he decides to float away the barracks with the tech lab, and it looks like he could be using that for the starport. Yeah, definitely looks like he could be using that for the starport. Getting some banshees going. We like banshees. We're Terran. We like Banshees. It's just one of those units. I know a lot of you Zergs and Protoss are like, Oh, Banshees, Imba, whatever. They're not Imba. They're just sweet. There's a difference. And yes, using that starport to fly over and get all up on that reactor or tech lab. But I know these players, I believe these are the guys that said they did a best of three instead of a best of one because they were just kind of messing around. But we've got Cloak going down. I thought maybe he was going to go for a Raven because he dealt with ghosts in the past but nope going for cloak we got cloak for the ghost cloak for the banshees this is going to be an invisible battle versus an invisible battle stay tuned ladies and gentlemen it could get ugly missile turrets are up in the main base for neither player <laughs> looks like just uh dull train has his missile turrets up keeping his base nice and secure but for Ram Lead, he's got no missiles. He's like, I don't need no stinking missile turrets. I don't even need scans. I'll just EMP your Banshee and kill it that way. Which actually works, ladies and gentlemen. EMP the cloaked unit, it's revealed, and then you just kill it. So it's a pretty sneaky tactic. I am actually working on a new build using ghosts, and I'm quite happy with it so far. I just need to do some quick testing versus a Zerg opponent and versus another Protoss player. And it looks like, ooh, that Ghost was spotted, but he is going to focus. Yeah, Ghost pretty much has free reign of this base. Until the scan happens. Any, oh, there goes the scan. Is the Ghost going to get out of there in time? Yes, the Ghost manages to live with just barely. Now the Ghost has free reign in that base some more. And it's going to head towards the beginning. It looks like he did stop that barracks from being produced. But we do have Banshee number one on the field. Banshee number two is on the way. And Cloak is now finished. Ooh, so definitely going to be some kind of trade action going on here. Where did that ghost? I think he killed the ghost. Nope. There's the ghost. It gets out of there. 
just barely has enough energy to make it out of there and we've got two banshees now flying across the map they are going to get into ram lead space and do lots of damage as there is no detection at all no detection spells trouble as those banshees come flying in and there yes there they go picking off scvs left and right let's keep track we've got three kills on this banshee no kills this banshee's a kill stealer Four, 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 five, six, eleven 4 5 6 kills on these banshees so far 6 kills ooh gets an emp off on that banshee those banshees are not going anywhere and manages to pick those off nice recovery looks like he only got about 11 kills on those banshees which is you know it's going to hurt it's going to hurt his economy a little bit but we do have expansions going up for both players right now and they're actually pretty evenly timed as well uh, Blue Flame Hellion is now up for Dull Train as well as working on some more Banshee actions. So looks like we're going to be seeing Marine Banshee Hellion versus Ghost Marine. As we do have lots and lots and lots of Barracks. 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 Reactor now going up on that factory. More than likely going to be used for the Starport so we can get double medevacs out as soon as possible. Um, but yes, we have one or two barracks producing ghosts. We have the rest of the barracks producing marines. Um, it looks like he did take a halt on that marine production as he does need to get his economy established or re-established in this case. We currently have 26 SCVs for Dull Train, 23 SCVs for Ram Lead. And we've got this ghost marine army here versus this Raven, Banshee, Hellion, Marauder, Marine, Jack of All Trades army. Uh, the Raven's gonna do awesome though against those ghosts. And, you know, it's gonna be able to keep down those uh, the ghosts from cloaking. Um, but the ghosts being able to get in here should be able to snipe these guys pretty easily. And it looks like yes, we do have one ghost heading out right now. He's gonna spot that Raven and hopefully retreat. But it looks like he's going for some sneaky action, getting into the natural expansion there. Ooh, don't want to go too further. You're going to get spotted. Ooh, decides to pull back and sneak out of there. Ooh, we've got a sensor tower up now for our Terran player. That's going to allow him to get very good, actually get vision of his opponent's base. I mean, like the sensor tower goes all the way into the base. He's going to see this medevac flying across right now. Which is going to force him to have to retreat because the medevac is going to land and do damage or get picked off by a missile turret. Ah, there he goes. Now he gets it. There we go. Eight marines now unloading from medevac. They've got their stim pack. They've got their combat shield and gets in there and nukes the natural. Oh, it's hard to watch. What, what do we want to watch? Do we want to watch the natural getting nuked? Oh, spots the ghost. So let's watch the natural getting nuked instead. Focusing down those missile turrets so we can keep his medevacs in nice and close. Going for the SCV line, takes out a few SCVs and decides that it is time to retreat with that attack. Meanwhile here we've got the Ravens, the Marauders, and the Rains heading up and... Doesn't quite make it in time. It was a very good scan on that. Might, maybe if you would put the Ghost up here. Could have gotten the nuke to go off. But uh, almost had a nuke that game, this game. That would have been sweet to see. More medevacs on their way out. More Marines. More barracks from... Uh, Dull train. 62 to supply to 86 supply. Both players are currently supply blocked, which is the Terran thing to do. You are not cool unless you supply block yourself as Terran. And it looks like he's going to be getting ready to expand yet again. These medevacs are heading out, but this medevac can be spotted. I mean, he's got the sensor tower, dude. You'd have to go all the way around the sensor tower's range and then, like, drop here. And, I mean, that would you'd be able to get it quicker that way. You know, you won't be able to spot it right away, but still. There's almost no point in medevac dropping this guy's base unless you go all the way up and over to here. But I mean, I think this is, you really can't only fly like to here, so the map ends. And then you're screwed. What do you do when the map ends? Nothing. These buildings are all pretty sweet too. I wonder if that's like just naturally there or they had to like add that in as like a doodad or something on the low, low ground. But if you ask me, it's pretty sick looking. All those extra buildings and stuff hanging down there. Anywho, back on the ranch for the rest of the horses. We do have one ghost along with many marines and many medevacs. About to run into this army of 
some Hellions, some Marines, some Ravens, and a bunker that just exploded. Alright, let's see which army comes out on top. We've got the Ghost here heading in and nuking! Forcing the Terran army forward as that nuke is about to land. Point Defense Drone is taking away a lot of the Marauder shells. Uh, it's about to run out of energy though. And there go. Oh! Nukes half the army! Oh man! Oh, that's so bad! And Dahl Train's forced to GG out of that game as half of his army just got nuked. Oh! Oh! You guys don't disappoint. I'm clapping at home. Thank you, thank you, Nuke. Now we just need to get one of these players to build a mothership, and we are set to go. Thank you for tuning into this round of 64 game, and I will see you guys later.